Okay, protein synthesis question uh, one, page 25. And let's get right to the question here. So uh, this very typical, you're gonna see this in a numerical type format where they want you to put the steps of protein synthesis in the correct order. So of course they're talking about transcription, translation. Now, uh, those are the two major stages. And you will see other questions like this as well. So they both start with trans. So just a little trick on how to distinguish which one comes first, because sometimes that gets confusing. C comes before L in the alphabet. So that's why C would be the first part of protein synthesis. Transcription. Okay, I won't put it all in here because I'm running out of room, but that one would be translation. So you're going to see that in another question, but you have to know these steps really well because you'll see multiple questions, both in the final and in the midterm, where they'll give you a bunch of steps like this and they want you to put it in the correct order. Or they'll give you questions on, say, where does transcription, where does translation, which one comes first, where do they occur? Transcription, of course, occurs in the nucleus. And the whole job of transcription is to make messenger RNA using one of the DNA uh, strands as a template. So that occurs at the nucleus and translation, we said, occurs in the cytoplasm. That's where we're actually taking amino acids and putting them in the correct order to build the protein. Okay, so these are some of the steps. So again, might be numerical response or it might be in this case, multiple choice where they're putting the sequence in your, uh, your multiple choice options here. So uh, again, use process of elimination works really well in these type of questions, especially these se sequent questions. So even if you only know maybe the first step or the first couple of steps, a lot of times you can eliminate some of these answers and come up with a better chance of coming up with the right answer. So let's go through some of these. These are some of the events for protein synthesis. Messenger RNA nucleotides uh, are fused in a long chain. That's happening here somewhere. Amino acids join the chain. That's happening in translation. Double helix molecule uncoils. Wow, that seems like one of the first steps that we're looking at. So we know that if we looked at those steps and we know them well, we actually had to use uh, DNA polymerase to unzip and uncoil the DNA molecule first, giving us a sense strand that we're gonna use to build messenger RNA and then the nonsense strand. So that seems pretty much one of the first steps, but let's just take a look at anything else here to see if uh, something comes before that. Polypeptide is released. Polypeptide, just another word for protein. That's happening down here later on in the process. Transfer RNA anticodons match with messenger RNA. That happens here later on in the process. Transfer RNA, of course, they're bringing the amino acids uh, to the messenger RNA strand and messenger RNA attaches to ribosomes. That's happening later on in the process. So because of that, we know that number three is the first thing that's going to happen. As soon as we know that, we can eliminate C and D, cross those right out. We know those can't be any of the possibilities. So if you follow along, three, three in both A and B is correct, but so is number one. That's found in both our choices. So we now know, even if we didn't really figure this out on our own, that this happens second in the process. Messenger RNA nucleotides are fused in a long chain. So the only thing that separates these two possibilities is six and five. So all we really have to know here is which one comes first, six or five. So if we take a look at six, it says that messenger RNA will then attach to a ribosome. Or if you look at the other option, number five, it says transfer RNA. Well, we already determined that that happens really late in that translation phase. So that ribbon, once it leaves the nucleus, it has to bind with those ribosomes. So we know that's right up there. So that's got to be third. Okay. So as soon as we see that order, we know now that it has to be A. Okay. Is the correct answer. So once the ribbon attaches, our messenger RNA ribbon attaches to the ribosomes, we know that then the transfer RNA starts bringing amino acids. And if that transfer RNA anticodon matches 
complementary to messenger RNA, it's going to drop that off. So we know that's fourth. Okay, uh, amino acids start to join the chain. So that is fifth. And the polypeptide is released. Once the polypeptide is, uh, is formed, that's going to be the last step right here. It's going to be released and then it's going to actually conform into its configuration or shape and shape is very much related to a protein's function. So uh, again, use process of elimination. You don't have to know everything. A lot of times you can come up with the right answer by just uh, knowing a couple of the steps here. But my advice to you, really know these steps well as you're gonna see them in the final uh, as well as your unit exam, your unit uh, six exam. Okay, any questions, give me an email. Thanks guys.